Report on violence and violations based on real OR presumed sexual orientation OR gender identity during the month of March 2024. The 12th of April 2024. Contents. 1. Introduction. 2. 2. Methodology. 2. 3. Nature and number of cases reported. 33.1 evictions from rented property. 33.2 cases of violence. 83.3 cases of arrests. 15. 7. Comparison with February 2024. 18. 8. Comparison with the period from the 1st of March 2023 to the 31st of March 2023. 18. 9. The first 10 months of the AHA 2023 in Uganda. 19. 7. Conclusion. 21. Introduction. On the 3rd of April 2024, 10 months after the Anti-Homosexuality Act 2023 AHA first came into force, the Constitutional Court of Uganda delivered judgment in the Consolidated Petitions No. 14, 15, 16 and 85 of 2023 Hun. Fox Odoi Oiwolowo and 21 others versus Attorney General and 4 others. In this judgment, the court reaffirmed the legitimacy of the AHA 2023, apart from a few sections, and essentially upheld the offenses of homosexuality, aggravated homosexuality, child grooming, same-sex marriage and promotion of homosexuality. It is thus clear that the LGBTQ plus community is going to have to take steps to adjust to the AHA 2023 as it appears that the legislation will remain on Uganda's law books for now. This 10th monthly report on violence and other human rights violations on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity expression since the AHA came into force discusses cases in which known or suspected LGBTIQ persons were targeted for violence and violations purely on the basis of their SOGIE as reported in the month of March 2024, which marks the 10th month of the AHA's enforcement. This report builds on the reports produced earlier in this series and therefore seeks to build on the data available about the enforcement of the AHA 2023 from the 30th of May 2023 to date. 2. Methodology. This report provides an overview of reported cases of violence and human rights violations on the basis of SOGIE that were reported to the HRAPF Legal Aid Clinic in March 2024. The data for this report was collected using both qualitative and quantitative methods of data collection, and it was independently verified and analyzed to ensure its veracity. Quantitative data was obtained from a review of case files to ascertain the number of cases handled and the cases in which the particular incidents of violence and violations reported herein occurred. This data was then subjected to a further in-depth qualitative analysis to ascertain the circumstances under which the incidents occurred. Only cases in which there is reason to believe that the actions in the incidents deliberately targeted persons primarily or wholly on the basis of their real or presumed sexuality are included in the report. As with previous reports in this series, this report is limited by the fact that it covers only data reported through the HRAPF Legal Aid Network, that is, our countrywide network of community paralegals, regional legal aid centers, specialized legal aid desks and the central legal aid clinic. The report presents a fair picture of the situation for LGBTIQ persons across the country as reported to HRAPF but may not be representative of all LGBTIQ persons, lived realities during the month, as we acknowledge the possibility that not all cases that occurred in March 2024 were reported to HRAPF's network. 3. Nature and number of cases reported. HRAPF handled a total of 111 cases in the month of March 2024 which marks a significant decrease from the 149 cases handled in February 2024. Out of the 111 cases handled, 52 cases involved actions that directly targeted people for negative treatment on the basis of their SOGIE, representing 46.8% of all the cases handled during the month of March 2024. There was only a very slight reduction in the number of cases in which individuals were targeted for negative treatment on the basis of their SOGIE. From 59 cases in February 2024 to 52 cases in March, although the number of victims of these incidents reduced significantly from 82 persons in February to 66 persons in March. Out of the 52 cases in which LGBTIQ people were specifically targeted for detrimental treatment during the month of March 2024, 
23 were cases of evictions from rented properties, 20 were cases of violence and threats of violence while 9 were arrests for sexuality-related reasons. These actions affected a total of 66 individuals. This section of the report provides detailed data on these cases. 3.1 Evictions from Rented Property Evictions from rented premises remained the highest category of violations recorded. In March 2024, there were 23 cases of evictions from rented property that were reported to HRAPF's legal aid clinic, affecting 26 individuals. This was a reduction from the 32 cases recorded in February 2024, affecting 47 individuals. The cases were reported from the districts of Wakizo 10, Mabali 2, Emberara 1, Masaka 1, Manafwa 1, Kampala 1, Kabali 1, Kiboga 1, Kiyotera 1, Gulu 1, Kigum 1, Amoro 1, and Saranko 1. The evictions were perpetrated primarily by the property owners, landlords, 17, followed by family members, 4, and local council authorities working with property owners, 2. In many of these cases, the neighbors expressed suspicion and discomfort about the victim's sexuality, prompting the landlords to evict the victims. The table below discusses these cases in detail. No. Case code date of reporting. District perpetrator brief facts number of victims. 1. HRAPF, PA, 449, 2024. The 3rd of March 24 Kampala landlord the client's landlord informed him that he had heard from some people in the neighborhood that the client was a homosexual and accordingly evicted her from the house she was renting. She believes the rumors were spread by a friend with whom she had had a falling out and who had threatened to make her life miserable. 1. 2. HRAPF, PA, 452,024. The 3rd of April 24 Wakizo landlord the client was blackmailed by a friend. The client had offered shelter to his friend, who then refused to leave, and started demanding money from the client. When the client refused to pay up, the friend made a scene, loudly screaming for the neighbors to come and help him and claiming that the two had transactional sex but the client had refused to pay. This was immediately reported to the landlord, who asked the client to leave the premises. 1. 3. HRAPF, PA, 451, 2024. The 3rd of November 24 Wakizo family the client was evicted from the home where she was living by her uncle, with whom she had lived since childhood. This happened after the uncle, who had always been suspicious of the client's sexuality because of her choice of dress, looked through her phone in her absence and found her chat with her partner, which he took as proof that she was a lesbian. 1. 4. HRAPF, PA, 453, 2024. The 3rd of November 24 Amoro Community Leaders. Landlord. The client reported that she was being evicted by her landlord and the local leaders on suspicions that she was a homosexual. The client's landlord heard rumors about the client's sexuality through her neighbors and she notified the local leaders, who summoned the client and advised her to vacate their village. 1. 5. HRAPF, PA, 454, 2024. The 3rd of November 24 Gulu landlord the client was evicted by her landlord from her rented room after the landlord heard a rumor that the client was bisexual. This rumor was apparently spread by the client's friend after a falling out between the two of them. 1. 6. HRAPF, PA, 455, 2023. The 13th of March 24 Kitgum landlord the client's landlord told them to leave his house after he heard rumors from other people in the neighborhood that the client is a lesbian because of 1. Their manner of dress and general conduct. 7. HRAPF, PA, 456, 2024. The 3rd of March 24 Kiyotera landlord the client's landlord cautioned him a few months back about bringing men to the house who look or otherwise act like women, stating that these people look like homosexuals. In March, the client's landlord asked him to move out, stating that since he had not heeded the 
Warning, there were suspicions that the client was also a homosexual. 1. 8. HRAPF, PA, 457, 2024. The 13th of March 24 Mabali family the client was chased away from home by his father on suspicions that the client was a homosexual. This followed the client forming a friendship with a man whom most of the people around the village had accused of being a homosexual. 1. 9. HRAPF, PA, 458, 2024. The 19th of March 24 Wakizo landlord the client's neighbors, being suspicious that he might be a homosexual, reported this to their landlord and demanded that he evict the tenant. In March 2024, the landlord issued the client with an eviction notice. 1. 10. HRAPF, PA, 459, 2024. The 3rd of May 24 Kiboga landlord the neighbors to the client reported to the landlord that he repeatedly brought home men whom they suspected he was having sex with. The landlord relied on this information to evict him on grounds of his sexuality. 1. 11. HRAPF, PA, 462,024. The 22nd of March 24 Wakizo landlord the client's neighbors found out that he works for an LGBT support organization and started to question him about his own sexuality. They later complained to the landlord and brought their suspicions to his attention, leading to the client's eviction. 1. 12. HRAPF, PA, 461, 2024. The 3rd of December 24 Wakizo landlord the client's landlord informed him that he heard from different people that the client was badly behaved. Because he was a suspected homosexual. He. 1. Accordingly asked the client to vacate the house he was renting. 13. HRAPF, PA, 462, 2024. The 3rd of December 24 Masaka landlord the client who had several friends that were transgender women, was reported by the neighbors to the landlord for bringing home men that behave like women, which they stated made them believe he and his friends were all homosexuals. The landlord believed this and demanded that the client leave the area immediately because the neighbors had started threatening to attack him. 1. 14. HRAPF, PA, 464, 2024. The 13th of March 24 Wakizo landlord the client was evicted by his landlord after some of his neighbors accused him of being a homosexual. His landlord relied on these allegations to evict him from his premises. 1. 15. HRAPF, PA, 465, 24. The 13th of March 24 Wakizo landlord the client received an eviction notice from the caretaker of the premises which he rents. The client, who believed he had always been timely with his rent payments, asked WHYAND the landlord informed him he had received complaints about the client's behavior from his neighbors and that it was in his best interest for him to vacate before the matters escalated. One. 16. HRAPF, PA, 466 24. The 3rd of October 24 Wakizo landlord the client was evicted by his landlord on suspicions that he was a homosexual. The landlord informed the client that he had observed his behaviors for quite a long time and the nature of people he usually associates with and he had come to the conclusion that the client is a homosexual and that the people he usually Associates with are also homosexuals. 1. 17. HRAPF, PA, 467, 2024. The 3rd of October 24 Saranko Landlord, Community. The clients were expelled from the village by the local area leaders on suspicions that the clients were two. Leaders homosexuals. The client's landlord together with their neighbors lodged a complaint that they were suspecting the clients to be homosexuals and based on those allegations, the clients were evicted from the village. 18. HRAPF, PA, 468 24. 
The 15th of March 24 Wakizo landlord the client was assaulted by her relatives after they learned about her sexuality, and one of them then went and informed her landlord about what they had found. Out, the landlord consequently evicted her from the rental premises. 1. 19. HRAPF, PA, 469 24 the 15th of March 24 Wakizo landlord the client's landlady evicted them from their house, accusing them of being homosexuals. She informed them that she had been reliably informed that the clients were homosexuals and that for that reason, she didn't want them on her premises any longer. 2. 20. HRAPF, PA, 470 24 the 3rd of October 24 Manafwa family the client's relatives held a meeting in early March and they resolved to chase the client away from their family home. They informed the client that they had always suspected he was a homosexual and that their continued association with the client was damaging their family reputation. 1. 21. HRAPF, PA, 471 24 the 3rd of December 24 Mabali landlord the client had lived with their partner for two years, although the entire neighborhood assumed they were siblings. In March 2024, the two had a misunderstanding and during the course of quarreling. Loudly, the client's partner repeatedly revealed information about the client's alleged sexual proclivities, which made the neighbors aware that the two were in fact in a relationship. This information was promptly shared with the landlord, who quarreled bitterly at 2. Them for lying to her before she evicted them both. 22. HRAPF, PA, 473 24. The 16th of March 24 Kabali family the client lived with his sister, who was supporting him financially. She repeatedly complained to him that his friends looked like they were homosexuals, and demanded that he stop associating with them, but he refused. She eventually lost her temper and demanded that he leave her home, stating that the only reason he would refuse to cut ties with the homosexuals was if he was also one of them. 1. 23. HRAPF, PA, 474 24. The 18th of March 24 Emberara landlord the client is a transgender woman who often cross dresses while at home, which the neighbors had repeatedly complained about. In March 2024, thieves broke into one of the neighbors' houses and the client was blamed for this, with neighbors insisting that she probably only dresses like a woman to commit crimes. They demanded that the landlord evict her, which he did. One. 3.2 cases of violence. There was a slight decrease in the number of cases of actual violence and threats of violence against individuals on basis of their real or presumed SOGIE. In March 2024, 20 cases were registered affecting 20 persons, as compared to February 2024, during which 24 cases were registered affecting 32 persons. I cases of actual violence on the basis of sexual orientation, gender identity. There were 13 cases of actual violence against persons on the basis of their real or presumed SOGI in March 2024, affecting 13 persons. This violence was perpetrated by unknown persons in 7 cases, members of the general community in 3 cases, family members in 2 cases and friends, acquaintances in 1 case. In 12 cases, Physical assaults were involved and the victim sustained serious bodily injuries while in the last case, the victim was subjected to blackmail. Out of the 13 cases, 5 cases happened in Gulu, 4 cases in Wakizo, 2 cases in Izingiro, Nakivo Refugee Settlement, and 1 case each in Kampala and Jinja districts. The details of these cases are discussed in the table below. No. Case code date of reporting. District nature of violence perpetrator brief facts number of victims 1 hrapf pa 475 2024 the 20th of march 24 kampala physical assault unknown person 
Client was coming from the bar at around 9 p.m. when some persons who were unknown to her assaulted her while accusing her of being a homosexual. She sustained actual bodily injuries during the attack. 1. 2. HRAPF, PA, 476 2024. The 3rd of October 24 is a euro physical assault. Unknown persons the client had previously reported people throwing stones at his house and heckling him whenever they saw him, calling him a homosexual. On the 9th of March, as he was walking home, some people he did not see threw stones at him, and one of them hit him on the back. 1. 3. HRAPF, PA, 477 2024. The 3rd of January 24 Gulu Physical Assault. Unknown persons the client was harassed by a group of men unknown to her whom she found at a bar in Gulu City. The men accused her of working with people who promote homosexuality in Gulu and, feeling unsafe, she decided to leave the bar and go home. They however followed her out, attacked her and beat her up while ordering her to stop working with homosexuals. 1. 4. HRAPF, PA, 478 2024. The 16th of March 24 Wakizo Physical Assault. General. Community on the 16th of March 2024, the client was attacked by four men while he was walking to his home, 2-1. Of whom he knew from his neighborhood. These men had previously accused him of being a homosexual and verbally harassed him whenever he passed by, but he always ignored them. On the 16th of March, they asked him why he was using a route they had prohibited all homosexuals to use, and then descended on him and started beating him. One of them stabbed the client with a sharp object in the thigh at least twice. 5. HRAPF, PA, 479 2024. The 19th of March 24 Jinja Physical Assault. Unknown people. The client was assaulted by unknown men who tried to rape her while accusing her of stealing their girlfriends. She was rescued by a friend, but felt she could no longer live in that place safely as they men who attacked her could not be identified or apprehended. 1. 6. HRAPF, PA, 480-24. The 3rd of January 24 Wakizo Physical Assault. Family the client was attacked by three strangers at night while he was coming back from his workplace. They accused him of being gay because of the way he walks, and ordered him to stop acting like a woman. He made an alarm, and some of his neighbors came out to investigate which scared away the assailants. 1. 7. HRAPF, PA, 481 24. The 3rd of January 24 is an euro physical assault. Family the client was walking back home when two Boda Boda riders came and started shouting at her, telling her to stop her behaviors of dating fellow women. One of them came close to her and stabbed her in her right forearm with a knife before they rode away. 1. She reported the matter to the police but there have been no arrests yet in connection to the incident. 8. HRAPF, PA, 482-24. The 22nd of March 24 Wakizo Physical Assault. Unknown persons the client was assaulted by uncount people at Salama Road when he was coming from a bar. While assaulting him, they demanded that he tell all his gay friends to stop going to that bar because the bar was not for homosexuals. 1. 9. HRAPF, PA, 483-24. The 24th of February 24 Gulu Physical Assault. General. Community the client was in her home when a man she knew by face from the neighborhood barged in and started beating her, asking her why she was a lesbian. She was worried that he might sexually assault her, so she made an alarm which attracted her neighbors and they forced him to leave, despite his protests that he was trying to teach her proper manners. 1. 10. HRAPF, PA, 484 24. The 3rd of April 24 Gulu Physical Assault. General. Community the client was at home when a man she knew by face from the neighborhood came to the compound and told the landlord that the client is a homosexual. When she tried to defend herself and deny these allegations, the man instead turned on her and started beating her, 
asking why she was making him look like a fool spreading false rumors yet he knew for a fact that the client was a homosexual. 1. 11. HRAPF, PA, 485 24. The 16th of March 24 Gulu Physical Assault. Unknown persons the client was attacked by a group of people, all of whom were unfamiliar to her. They won. Informed her that they had been monitoring her for some time and had noticed that she sometimes cross-dressed when leaving home yet she was a man, as perceived by them. They demanded that she, behave normally, and threatened to return if she did not. 12. HRAPF, PA, 487 24. The 23rd of March 24 Gulu Physical Assault. Unknown persons the client was assaulted by two of his brothers due to the fact that they were suspecting him of being a homosexual. They accused him of hanging out with friends who are a bad influence and whom they have always known to be homosexuals in the area. 1. 13. HRAPF, PA, 492-24. The 23rd of March 24 Wakizo Black Ma'il. Friend the client stated that his friend learned about his sexuality and he keeps threatening that he is going to report him to his family and to his wife. This friend has on several occasions also threatened to mobilize people to beat the client if he does not renounce homosexuality and repent. 1. E. Cases involving threats of violence based on sexual orientation and or gender identity. A total of seven cases involving threats of violence against persons on the basis of their real or presumed SOGIE were reported in March 2024 affecting seven persons. All these were threats of physical violence. The threats were perpetrated by persons unknown to the clients in three cases, friends and acquaintances of the victims in two cases, members of the general community in one case and the victim's relatives in one case. Two of these cases happened in Wakizo, two cases in Gulu, one case each happened in Jinja, Mabali and Kasi's districts. This table provides a detailed breakdown of the threats. No. Case code. Date of reporting district nature of threat. Perpetrator brief facts number of. Victims. 1. HRAPF, PA, 488-24. The 3rd of December 24 Wakizo threat of physical. Harm. Acquaintank S. The client stated that his bosses and workmates learned about his sexuality after his was outed by some of his friends. He was immediately terminated from work, and he left, but his former work colleagues keep harassing him and threatening to find him and beat him. 1. 2. HRAPF, PA, 489-24. The 25th of March 24 Gulu threat of physical. Violence. Unknown persons the client reported receiving threatening messages through his social media and SMS demanding that he stop hanging out with some males in his area as he was trying to spread homosexuality. The messages were also sent through some of his friends' phones, always threatening to find and beat him up. In March 2024, a letter with the same threats was shoved under his door while he was away from home. Despite reporting all these to the police, there have been no arrests made in connection with the matter, nor has there been any progress on the investigation. 1. 3. HRAPF, PA, 490-24. The 25th of March 24 Gulu threat of physical. Violence. Unknown persons the client has been receiving threatening messages via his mobile phone from persons who are known to him, telling him that he should vacate their village because he is a homosexual that if he doesn't vacate their village, they will ensure that he is killed. 1. 4. HRAPF, PA, 491, the 23rd of March 24 Jinja threat of physical. Unknown persons the client has been receiving threats of violence from some unknown persons who accuse him 1. 24 harm of promoting homosexuality in Jinja and the neighboring districts. In these messages, usually sent through his social media, the perpetrators demand to know why he is always the one who works with lawyers he invites from Kampala to free any homosexuals that get arrested in that area, and they threaten to harm him if he does not stop. 5. HRAPF, PA, 493-24. The 3rd of March 24 Wakizo threat of physical 
violence. General. Community the client in this case reported being threatened by staff at a bar he frequents, as well as people in his neighborhood generally. These individuals often tell him they know him to be a homosexual, and threaten to report him to the police or the local council authorities. Of recent, some of his neighbors have also started threatening to physically hurt him if he does not leave the area or change his ways. 1. 6. HRAPF, PA, 494 24. The 17th of March 24 Mabali threat of physical violence. Family the client works with an LGBTIQ support organization in her area. When her brothers found out about this, they accused her of also being a homosexual and threatened to beat her and demolish her house, which she built on a part of their communal land that had been allocated to her, if she does not immediately cease her association with this organization. 1. 7. HRAPF, PA, 495 24. The 20th of March 24 Cassie's threat of physical violence. Friend the client, a pastor who had previously been forced to flee after he was threatened with physical violence for allegedly being a homosexual, reported being threatened again by an acquaintance whom he had not spoken one. Two in months, this person informed him that he knew he had returned to continue spreading homosexuality, and threatened to open a case against him at police and to find and have him beaten if he does not leave the area again. 3.3 Cases of Arrests In March 2024, HRAPF handled a total of nine cases in which individuals were arrested on sexuality-related charges. This is three times the number of cases recorded in February 2024. In seven cases, the persons arrested were charged with offenses under the AHA while in two of the cases, the persons were arrested due to suspicion that they were homosexuals but were charged with possession of opium and unnatural offenses. In seven cases, the persons arrested were released on police bond, in one case the person was released upon paying a bribe and in one case, the persons arrested were arraigned before court and remanded. The arrests registered during March 2024 affected 20 persons. Four cases were registered from Kampala, three cases from Wakizo and one case each from Jinja and Nakasongola districts. This table provides a detailed breakdown of the arrests. No. Case code date of reporting. District charge brief facts number of victims. 1. HRAPF, PA, 496 24. The 17th of March 24 Kampala homosexuality the client was arrested, charged with homosexuality and detained for a day after the mother of a friend of his went to the police and complained that she thought he was having sex with her son also in adult who lives at home with her. 1. 2. HRAPF, PA, 497 24. The 15th of March 24 Wakizo unnatural offenses. The clients were home when a friend of theirs came to visit. This friend was unfortunately being tracked by the police on accusations of theft, and the police found and arrested him from their home. The officers however also took an interest in why 44. Young men were living together, and took their phones forcefully and went through them while expressing suspicion that they might be gay. One of the phone had a porn video downloaded from the internet featuring two men. The officers concluded that this meant the four were all gay, so they arrested and took them to Wakizo Police Station as well. They were later arraigned on charges of having carnal knowledge against the order of nature and remanded to prison. 3. HRAPF, PA, 499-24. The 19th of March 24 Wakizo homosexuality One of the clients in this case took a friend home to visit and they spent the night. In the morning, the Mother of one of them came to the room to wake her up, and when she found out that the two had shared a room, she lost her temper, went to the police station and had them both arrested. In her statement, she stated that she had always suspected that her daughter was involved in homosexuality but had never been able to prove it or find the person who recruited her, but that clearly the friend she had Brought home was the recruiter. 2. 4. HRAPF, PA, 524. The 13th of March 24 Wakizo possession of opium. 
The clients were at a bar in Nabweru when police officers came in, went up to them and told them that the police had been reliably informed that the bar regularly hosts homosexuals, and that they were clearly also homosexuals who were recruiting other young men. The three were immediately taken to the police station, but when the lawyers went to follow up on the case, the charge was amended to possession of narcotics without valid reason for the three. Initial charge or the amendment. 5. HRAPF, PA, 501 24. The 3rd of December 24 Jinja homosexuality the client went to visit a friend and while they were at home, the friend's mother returned and found them sitting together outside the house. She immediately lost her temper and insisted that she knew the client must be one of the homosexuals recruiting her son and that the two probably had sex. While she was gone, she locked them in the house, went to the police station and returned with two officers who arrested the client. 1. 6. HRAPF, PA, 502 24. The 22nd of March 24 Kampala homosexuality the client was in a bar and after he got drunk, he approached a man in the bar and danced close to him, making suggestive moves and remarks to him. The other patrons who noticed this turned on him. Some beat him up while others verbally abused him. One of them called a police officer from Kira Road, police station, whom they told that the client had attempted to seduce and sexually assault a patron, leading to his arrest. 1. 7. HRAPF, PA, 503 24. The 22nd of March 24 Kampala homosexuality the clients were arrested from a bar near Oino Market. When the police officers arrived, they detained all people who were found in the bar and searched their belongings, and they found condoms and a few sachets of personal lubricant in one of the clients' bags. On this basis alone, the officers concluded that they were all homosexuals, and they drove them to Old Kampala Police Station, where they were charged with homosexuality. 6. 8. HRAPF, PA, 503 24. The 22nd of March 24 Kampala attempted homosexuality. The client was arrested after a few of his friends complained to the police that he often touches them one. Inappropriately, they complained that they thought he wanted to recruit them into homosexuality. 9. HRAPF, PA, 504 24. The 3rd of April 24 Nakasongol A. Attempted. Homosexuality The client was arrested upon a complaint from one of his friends that he was trying to recruit him into homosexuality. The client was surprised by this allegation as there had never been anything sexual between the two of them. The arrest was however made public, leading to the client being outed as gay throughout the village. The client's friend insisted on being paid UGX 1 million as compensation, which the client's relatives felt compelled to pay to secure his freedom. 1. 7. Comparison with February 2024. There has been a reduction in the overall number of cases reported as well as the number of cases involving actions that deliberately targeted persons for negative treatment on basis of their real or presumed SOGIE. In February 2024, a total of 149 cases involving LGBTI persons were reported as compared to 111 cases in March 2024. In terms of cases that specifically targeted individuals on the basis of their real or presumed SOGIE, there was a reduction from 59 cases affecting 82 persons in February 2024, to 52 cases affecting 66 persons in March 2024. In both months, the highest number of cases registered were evictions, with 32 evictions affecting 47 persons in February 2024 and 23 eviction affecting 26 persons in March. The cases of violence and threats of violence slightly decreased from 24 cases affecting 32 persons in February 2024 to 20 cases affecting 20 persons in March 2024. Cases of arrests on sexuality-related charges dramatically increased from 3 in February 2024 affecting 3 persons to 9 cases affecting 20 persons in March 2024. 8. Comparison with the period from the 1st of March 2023 to the 31st of March 2023. 
In March 2023, a total of 47 cases were handled involving LGBTIQ persons, of which 25 cases involved actions that directly targeted persons on the basis of their real or presumed SOGIE, 43.2% of all cases handled. The actions in these cases affected a total of 58 people and included 18 cases of real or threatened violence, 5 eviction cases and 2 arrests on sexuality-related charges. In contrast, 111 cases involving LGBTIQ persons were handled in March 2024, of which 52 involved actions of targeted, deliberate homophobia, 46.8% of all cases handled, and 66 persons were affected. This represents a total percentage increase of 136.2% in the total number of cases reported, and an increase of 108% in the number of cases of deliberate homophobia between the two months before and after the AHA. 9. The first 10 months of the AHA 2023 in Uganda. In the first 10 months of the AHA 2023, a total of 903 cases involving LGBTIQ persons have been handled across the legal aid network, of which 520 57.6% targeted LGBTIQ people on the basis of their sexuality, affecting a total of 664 persons. The breakdown of cases so far is as follows. Nature of violation. June 2023 July 2023 August 2023. September 2023. October 2023. November 2023. December 2023. January 2024. February 2024. March 2024. Total. Number of cases. Evictions 19262222282027303223249 Violence 23212194279142524202026 Arrests 4663674395 Other forms of discrimination 00033006 Total 4653474964394759595251515. The victims in these cases are Nature of violation June 2023 July 2023 August 2023 September 2023 October 2023 November 2023 December 2023 January 2024 February 2024. March 2024. Total. Number of. Victims. Evictions 20-33-2631-3724-33-35-4726312 Violence 23-24-22-37-35-10-20-32-32-20-255 Arrest 7-1-0-1-1-5-1-0-7-9-6-3-2-0-8-8 Other forms of. Discrimination 0 0 0 0 3 3 0 0 0 0 6 Total 5067597385446273826661 In the same 10 months period from June 2022 to March 2023 a total of 389 LGBTIQ cases were handled of which 140 cases 35.9% contained actions that deliberately targeted LGBTIQ persons for detrimental treatment. This translates to an increase of 514 cases in the overall total number of cases handled, from the period of June 2022 to March 2023 to the same 10-month period following the enactment of the AHA. Similarly, the number of cases of deliberate homophobia have increased by 375 from 140 cases in June 2022 to March 2023 to 515 from June 2023 to March 2024. 7. Conclusion. As the Anti-Homosexuality Act moves inexorably towards one year of implementation with no real hope of a reversal of this legislation in the near future, we note with concern that the attacks and harassment against LGBTIQ plus persons in the criminal justice system have started to spill over more and more often to legal aid service providers, lawyers providing services to suspected LGBTIQ persons. In the month of March 2024, 
a HRAPF lawyer was arrested and detained for more than two hours after officials from the Office of the Directorate of Public Prosecution took offense at the lawyer's defense of a suspected gay man. These attacks not only interfere with the work of the lawyers but also violate our client's non-derogable right to a fair trial, and this new trend continues to underscore the heavily negative impact of the AHA 2023 on the lives and rights of LGBTQ persons. It remains to be seen whether the few positive pronouncements in the recent constitutional court judgment that nullified sections 3, 2, C, 9, 11, 2, D, and 14 of the AHA 2023 will be sufficient to address the rampant evictions, violence against and access to health and justice challenges for suspected LGBTQ plus persons within the framework of enforcing the AHA 2023.